All right, so my predictions is very simple. Predictions. ASY is on band decay. She can't be banned anymore this week. Yeah, that's true. That's why I put a question mark. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. All right, Kang abuser will suffer from the ban one. Yang Harem will not be banned. All right, let's go. Let's check it out. Who is the ban? Who is the buff? And oh my God, Ayuna ban three. Insane! Wait, something is not right. Something is not right. Chifuyu is ban 1? What, what is it? Refresh. Boom! Oh my god! Insane! Yuna is ban 3. ASY release? Nayubin is not ban? Hell yes! Let's go, Yubin abuser. Rise up! Yubin abuser, rise up. Serapel is not ban? Serapel abuser, rise down. I don't care about Serapil abusers, but you've been abusers, rise up! Let's go! Harap! Ban 2? Twins not banned? Insane! Twins abuser, rise up! Twins abusers shall all rise up. 2 cost? Dang, 2 cost? And you can't counter by Harap? Soldier team, rise up! Maybe soldier team should rise up, there's no Harap this week. Soldier team, rise up! Oh, too bad you can't Kang with soldier team. You can't Kang with soldier team, right? Kal Wong ban 1, Gayun ban 2. How the F did Harap get banned? I'll tell you why. The developer is like, screw you, we want Soldier to be meta again. So Soldier shall be meta. Family shall now shine. Okay, okay. So this week, right, is going to be A Nayubin. I mean, next week. A Nayubin. It's going to be Serapel, Nayubin, Awaken, Seoyun all over again. Without Kang this time. Kang ban 2 is like so difficult. Maybe Ingrid will be the thing. How the hell didn't Yubin get banned? I told the developer, hey, developer, I love Nayubin so much. Please don't ban uh, Nayubin. I'll pay you $1. I told them I'll pay them $1. And they're like, okay, agree, agree. So that's how Yubin didn't get banned. It's like everyone using Nayubin this week. Yeah, I just gotta pay them $1. They would stop the ban. All right, let's have a look at ban ships. Oh my god, Enterprise ban 2? Wait, 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 wait. Lake Superior only ban 1? New Ohio release? Insane! New Ohio, new Detroit, new whatever. Time to rise up. Uh, Enterprise cannot be used, definitely. Enterprise cannot be used. Yo, finally New Ohio is like free. For the first time ever. New Ohio and Glebney Armor, yeah. Glebney Armor, Glebney Port, New Ohio. Dang, we have so many options. So many options this week. Armor released and there's Nayubin, Serapel, ASY. Yeah, it's so cancer, right? It's gonna be so cancer. Dang, I actually think the combination is so weird. Okay, but what about the up units? Because the up units will determine how the meta is like throughout. Boom! Eddie Fisher? Yo, they actually want to buff Soldier Team this week. Eddie Fisher plus Family Swordsman? Plus family rifleman, plus family everything. Insane! Laura Beatrix for the first time ever! Laura Beatrix is getting buff. First time ever, let's go! I'm hyped! I'm hyped for this lolly, let's go! Jake Walker though. I don't think Jake Walker can do much because Nayubin is there. Aceyun is going to push back Jake Walker anyways. What will Jake Walker do? Laura counters a lot of the Awakened units actually. So I think everyone will be using Laura. Jake to one-shot ASY. I don't think Jake can one-shot ASY. Mina is, Even Mina can't one-shot ASY. You think Jake can one-shot ASY? I mean, very unlikely. I think psych, very good cyclable uh, unit. Laura Beatrix. Dang, Laura Beatrix leader is going to be insane. Jake Walker? Alright, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Laura Beatrix. Besides her summoning her cat, what... Okay, Laura Beatrix is a supporter, alright? Supporter, 3 cost, but she becomes 2 cost. Insane stats. The stats is not that good, but don't worry. Just give her skill haste. You know why? Alright, basic attack, uh, value hit of 1. So passive skill, basically she summons the pet called Pluto. So Pluto will decrease enemy's attack speed by 20% for 10 seconds as soon as it appears. The moment the cat comes out, everyone's attack speed, boom, minus 20% for 10 seconds. Pluto stats increase depending on Laura's level. So Pluto also decreases enemy's attack by 10% at level 5. Debuff of decreasing attack speed and attack. Immediately, instant instant deployment, you get this debuff, insane. 
18 second special skill, right? In 6 AoE damage, this skill increases Pluto's attack speed by 40% and instantly finishes one defender or striker with 15% or lower HP. So if you time correctly, you can instantly finish a defender or striker within 15% HP, right? Which is quite good. Damage taken minus 40% for Pluto as well. I think it's pretty okay. If you see Nayubin, Nayubin is very annoying. Especially Nayubin with so low HP, right? Having the cat to deal with her Nayubin as fast as you can, it definitely helps. So this one uh, basically fully restores Pluto's HP or summon Pluto if it's not on the field and also does a bunch of damage. A uh, skill creates area, decreases enemies attack speed and speed by 20%. So if in, in case you guys are wondering what build is the best for Laura, I would say CDR as high as you can get. Uh, priority should still be your main damage dealers though, but Laura should has a this should have a decent CDR, I think. Should try and give her decent CDR so she can cast this skill more often. This 18 seconds. Slow attack speed or ASY. Yeah, it definitely can help for sure. Edificial is a good cyclable uh, unit. So definitely key, uh, I would say pretty key as well. Edificial is a pretty key unit this week. Everyone should be using Edificial for the free grenade. Increase surrounding soldiers attack by 10% and also reduce damage taken. And this buff, decrease surrounding counters damage taken by 10%. Also increase counters attack by 10%. This one can help your Nayubin and Serapel and all the front line. I think rushing with Nael might actually be better this week. Nael, Blue Steel might actually be strong with Artificial this week. The rush strat might actually finally work. I'm gonna give that a shot tomorrow, soon as I can. And lastly, who else? Uh, who's the other one? Who's the other one? I'm not sure about using Jake though. The other two I would definitely use for sure, I think. But Jake, hmm, inflicts AOE damage, it unlimited value hits, insane! Mech plus 30%, alright, cause explosion, inflicts AOE damage, skill range 50%, value hit plus 1, increase attack speed and skill hit by 30%. Chifuyu more than Jake, yeah, Chifuyu is free this week, and Amina is not banned, but Jake can be an option for sure. 3 costs. Jake Thundercock? Whoa, whoa, calling Jake a Thundercock? Dang! Jake is similar with Kang. Jake really cannot kill tanky rangers. I think he can kill snipers though. If you want, you can kill Xiaolin and stuff, Sylvia, most likely those can. But Gayun and the likes? Not gonna happen. I've never seen Jake kill them before. Yeah, a lot of good striker like Twins and Chifuyu, really no place for Jake. Yeah, but Jake is not used as a striker, he's used as a backline killer in a way, sort of. Yeah, you need a ranger for sure, or else you cannot get rid of Nayobin. Nayobin is going to be so toxic. Insanely toxic. My Mikini Rosaria can finally show up. Dang, skin Rosaria insane. 